Hey, what's up guys? Norchetto here. Thanks for stopping back in. So, uh, had an absolutely fantastic dream hack, as you can probably tell. Uh, I wanted to go ahead and start off by giving a huge shout out to the Atlanta Rain um, crew and team and everyone for the um, ticket giveaway, and, and I'm so thankful I was able to win one of those spots. So happy to be able to show up at DreamHack and, and meet everyone. It was, it was an absolutely fantastic time. Um, so yeah, I definitely did get a chance to meet the fabled JP, the uh, the the guy behind the scenes, the the guy running running the show that we see, the public facing side of the team, and I, I just have to say, absolutely um, uh, phenomenal person, uh, one of the nicest guys you'll ever meet. It really, really involved and. Um, uh, really cares about the fans. I mean, he was meeting fans all weekend, giving out merch, and not just not just meeting fans and giving out merch, but actually stopping and taking the time to talk with people. Um, I, I had a, a great conversation with him about just a whole wide variety of things going on with the team, things going on behind the scenes. He had some absolutely amazing words and, and kind words to say about me, about the fans, about the community, and uh, we are in great hands, guys. We are in absolutely great hands. This is... um. This is someone whose whose depth of knowledge about the the industry and the scene uh, goes far beyond what what I originally uh, even realized. And just talking with him about um, you know how the team came together and how it was formed um, and things going forward and and their thought process and building the team and building the community. I am any any fears I initially had. Um, uh, you, you may remember one of my earlier videos. I was hoping that you know they understood um, what it took to really uh, um, diversify talent and, and support the team from a lot of different angles and a lot of different uh, sides and positions. And all of those fears are gone. This, this crew running the team knows exactly what they're doing, and, and I couldn't be happier with the people behind the scenes. Um, I was not able to meet uh, Mr. Jeremy Poor, which, uh, or JP number two, or JPB, JP1, JPB, whatever. Uh, but um, I, I really hope to, uh, to shake his hand in the future we did miss each other there was there was a lot of people there and a lot going on and and i was pulled in so many different directions it was such a great time um one thing I did want to point out was uh, that uh, Paul Hamilton was not able to make it this past weekend, but um, I did get a chance to kind of ask JP, you know, about the the people running the team and, and people like Paul, who who are one of the reasons why uh, the team is what it is. And he had nothing but kind things to say uh, about Paul Hamilton, and he said that um, Paul seems like. Uh, or based on what JP was talking about, Paul seems like someone who not only understands that esports are going somewhere, but actually understands um, understands it at at a base level. It's not just you know, uh, yeah, video games are getting big. He he cares to understand how um, how the game is run, how the industry is run, how the community is run, and um, I, I can't wait to shake his hand and, and pick his brain a little bit, but uh, I just want to let you guys know, based on the conversations I had, I am super excited about the people running this team, and JP, thank you so much for meeting with me and talking with me. I can't wait to uh, to meet you again, shake your hand, and, and maybe spend a little bit more time talking. So so that was uh, kind of uh, the overview of, of the Atlanta Rain stuff at DreamHack when it comes to the... Um, the official outlets and, and talking with those people. Uh, obviously, there was there were so many people there and so much going on with the tournaments uh, um, across all sorts of different games. Um, Smite and Paladins and, and Hearthstone and Halo was amazing to watch. Counter Strike League, uh, Smash Brothers, Soul Calibur. There was so much there, and I had so much fun. It, if it comes back or any convention gaming convention comes back, I highly recommend you guys uh, if if you are able to um, to jump on it and come out because especially anything happening in Atlanta, you know, uh, a lot of Rain fans are going to be there. Where we are immersed in the gaming community in in Atlanta. So. Um, so yeah, as you can tell, I, I met up with with JP and he hooked me up with some uh, some Atlanta Rain gear to, uh, to to rep the team. And I, I know this stuff isn't publicly available yet. Um, and when some of the stuff does come up publicly available, uh, guys, this is high quality stuff. You know, it, it's very easy to think that uh, a lot of things you're going to be getting are kind of simple hats with maybe a little bit of you know mall kiosk embroider on them no this is this is very high quality stuff this this hoodie i got going it it feels it's so well made so well made hat we got a nice flex fit hat with the uh, logo on the back name on the front the shirt super comfy and um but that's not all some things we have not seen yet that that i'm, I'm bringing to you let me uh let me huh 
So we got the scarf. And this is something we have not seen yet. This is uh, a nice mixture of our colors with the, uh, with the Atlanta Rain logo nicely featured on there. And this thing's also really nice. I, uh, this is something I haven't featured yet um, that I was very happy to have on the cold days uh, walking around Atlanta at DreamHack. So scarf is very nice. And also, I know we talked about a few hats uh, that had come up uh, with, with pictures of when they were, were uh, um, you know, originally revealed through, through some of the, the uh, team members that had them. But ones we did not see were uh, another FlexFit white hat with a centered logo and the name on the back. Uh, snapback hat with the offset logo on a white hat. And this one's really, really cool, which is uh, another snapback hat with a black Atlanta Rain logo. So it's black on black and has a really, really cool effect when you see it. So these are a few more options with hats um, that I am super fortunate enough to be able to show you guys. I'm, I'm so excited to be able to have these and I'm going to start putting them on through rotation in the videos just so you guys can keep looking at them and, and get ready to, to bring them into your own house. So definitely keep an eye out for, for merch coming out. Um, beyond that, uh, DreamHack was just it was a great chance to meet people um, in the community, and I am so excited with, with already where this community is and where it's going. Um, I wanted to give a shout out to the um, OWLATL community, the the um, you know Blitz's uh, official Discord community that's that's been growing like a weed. Uh, it was it was so nice to meet Blitz finally. Um, the Atlanta Watch crew, good to meet them. Uh, Bird Watchers podcast, I got to meet Ryan from from them. I'd love to meet Clay at some point, but Ryan, we had an absolutely fantastic conversation about um, uh, you know balance changes and the uh, state of the game. And I'd love to do more work with them in the future. Um, the Payload Atlanta, I know that I, I had a chance to talk to them, and there is some some really awesome stuff uh, being worked on in the background with that crew. I know they're expanding, and um, keep an eye out on the Payload Atlanta crew. There's going to be a lot coming from there. Um, the Credible Threat guys, uh, I used to live in Huntsville, Alabama, and uh, there's some some of my local friends up there. So so definitely nice to uh, to to meet them. Or oh, let's see, Calamity, uh, a, a streamer out of Atlanta, got to meet him. Um, other people from the community, a people's champion, got to, that was the first person that noticed me, and that was a whole experience, guys, getting noticed for the first time by someone. It, it just blew my mind, and, and I really appreciate everybody who is supporting me. And uh, Zoe from, from the, uh, the Discord, um, it was absolute pleasure to meet you. Uh, just anyone I'm forgetting. There were so many people, and I was pulled in so many different directions that... that um, I'm sorry for anybody. I, I didn't spend nearly enough time with, with anyone that I wanted to, and I look forward to meeting you guys at events in the future and spending a little bit more time talking. So so much love to all you guys. Big things are coming in the community, and uh, we have some amazing people uh, building this Atlanta Rain family. So so that's it with DreamHack. Uh, if you have any questions or anything like that, just, just feel free to let me know and, and, and give me an ask, and I will do my best to, to answer those. Um, moving on with that, I know that uh, there was a meeting with um, – um, that uh, um, the team had with, uh, I think, Rise Ventures at the Falcons game this weekend at Mercedes-Benz Stadium. So um, there not only was there, you know, a lot of fun community stuff, but there is still very big things being worked on in the in the background. Um, so, uh, you know, definitely follow the the uh, Atlanta Rain account and you can see, you know, these little these little clips into the backgrounds of the workings of the uh, um, of the team. And it's, it's really exciting to to see where um, the people we're meeting up with and where it could potentially go in the future. So definitely keep up with that. Uh, I wanted to highlight a uh, um, our content manager who has been hired and has been announced. It's uh, Jarrell on on Twitter. I'll put a link to his um his Twitter account in the description. Uh, looking at a lot of his work uh, with um, photography and, and design and things like that, incredibly, incredibly talented man. And I am, uh, I'm incredibly looking forward to the uh, the work he's going to be able to put in and how good he's going to make uh, the players look, the team look, and the stuff he's going to be able to provide to the community. Um, definitely check out his work. It's it's phenomenal. He's already done a lot of work with the Overwatch League. Um, so yeah, I'll put a link in the description there. Uh, go follow him, support his work, and I'm sure we'll be seeing a lot more from him. Uh, moving on from that, I wanted to highlight something that our, um, our uh, um, you know, 
Atlanta Rain uh, streamer, Fran, has been doing, and she got invited to the Blizzard campus to take part in a, um, a kind of a streamer invite program. So uh, what Blizzard is doing is they set up a streaming center in uh, on their campus, and they're inviting you know uh, high-profile streamers out to come and play there and, and talk with devs and ask questions and things like that. And Fran got the opportunity to go and spend a couple days out there. It seems like she had a, a fantastic time. Um, but she got to ask some questions with, with the team. And um, some of the biggest ones that I kind of wanted to touch on, obviously I'm going to put a link to this in the description. Go watch this. There's, there's a ton of good information uh, about the um, development, the future of the game, and where everything's going. And um, I am continually more and more impressed with Fran as, a, uh, um, as one of our community members who is able to be a direct contact with Blizzard. So she she has been doing uh, an amazing job. Um, but some of the things that that she they went over there, uh, they talked about Hero Thirty and how Hero Thirty is in the playtesting phase right now. So that's really exciting. Um, that that is a character who is in a rough state but still is in a playable state. So they know how this hero is going to work, which is really exciting. But they also talked about how um, several other heroes are in the uh, um, you know development. Phase. I know Jeff said they're working on, I think, like the next six. So this just kind of um, uh, gave us more information about where they are in that in that uh, uh, timeline. Um, she also asked, you know, what the best way to give feedback was. And, you know, obviously they said things like forum posts and stuff. But one of the big things that was said was um, uh, the this, this streamer program they're doing and inviting streamers. So what that tells me is you guys need to go out and talk to Fran, communicate with her, follow her on Twitter, follow, watch her streams, talk to her in, in Twitch chat. And if you have any of those questions, bring that up. She's, she's one of our um, contacts with Blizzard. And... This is important. This is how a lot of um, feedback gets there, and we're so fortunate to have someone like Fran on our team, um, you know, vouching for the community, asking those important questions, and, and getting us that information. So thank you to Fran. Um, moving on from that, a, another fun thing that popped up on uh, Twitter was a one Jared Gilmore, uh, an actor, has come out and said that he is a, a big Atlanta Rain supporter. And uh, Jared Gilmore is an actor that you may know from uh, Once Upon a Time. Uh, he's also been in Mad Men. And um, he's he's got a substantial following on his own talent. He, he's a he's a fantastic actor and um, uh, a rain fan. So we can add him to the the list of super ho high profile celebrities up there with Zed to uh, to support the rain. I'd love to uh, get these guys in watching some games sometime and shake their hands. That'd be that'd be incredible. Um, and the last thing I really wanted to to talk about was um, Thanksgiving. So today is Thanksgiving in the United States, and um, that I'm recording has had a very, very busy week. Safe travels to anybody who is traveling uh, this week or, or after Thanksgiving. It's it's uh, it's crazy out there. But uh, for those who are are you know unaware of of traditions in in the U.S., Thanksgiving is a representation of uh, you know the pilgrims and the Native Americans coming together and and sharing different things. Um, a, a lot of their culture, food, and things like that. And it's a great opportunity to remember how um, diverse our organization is and how diverse our team is. And I am very thankful at our community, but also very thankful that we have uh, been able to pull in all this talent from across the globe and that we're bringing them together and uh, forming a team of so many different um, cultures. So. Uh, I am thankful for you guys, I am thankful for the team, and I am thankful for, for all the support that I'm getting and the team's getting, and, and this whole run up to season two has been absolutely incredible, and it's still a good ways out, but we're getting there, guys. We're getting there, things are coming together, and um, God, I can't wait to see what's next. So. Definitely uh, keep an eye on everything going on. Keep an eye on this channel. Keep an eye on, on the uh, my Twitter account, the community Twitter accounts for everyone, and of course the uh, the official account to see uh, news as it comes. And until we have more news, I will talk to you guys later. Happy Thanksgiving and safe travels.